So to understand lung ultrasound, you need to understand three signs, three letters. So A, B, C. So A, B, C. And obviously lung sliding and no lung sliding. But first, so let's see if we have a lung here. This is lung. So A line is what happened because when you put ultrasound probe here, you know, obviously on your chest. So when there is reverberation of ultrasound, what happened is the pruna line, which is here, this is pruna line, will get mirror because you know the cell bounces back 100% because you have a lot of air. So what happened is you would have a mirror image of pruna line like this because the cell bounces. So it's like you, you know, I'm standing here at the mirror. I see my mirror because you know the light bounces 100%. It's the same thing. So a line means there's a lot of bouncing, there's a lot of air in patients. So when the patients come in with dyspnea and have a line a lot, it means they are breathing difficultly from uh, some of bronchial disease, let's say COPD, asthma, or they don't have fluid, let's say maybe they have PE. So you have a line, it means you have air more than fluid in your lung. So what about if you have so okay PE, asthma, COPD, etc. Or normal patient obviously. But what, what about if you have a lot of fluid? So if you have heart failure, so you have a lot of water here, what happened is that is that the reverberation would bounce inside of alveolar. So you would have a you know, multiple direction reverberation. It would not be organized like this. So you would have a lot of small reverberation that you know, include, or this is small reverberation, but it include into one big white vertical line. So this is B line here. So B line happens when you have a lot of fluid in lung and it's vertical, it's not horizontal. You can see this in any situation that you have fluid in lung. So let's say you have heart failure, you have ARDS, you have COVID, a lot of things, pneumonia. You know. So if you have B-line, it means you have fluid, uh, maybe hemorrhage or maybe pneumonia. So this is B-line. If you have more than three B-line, it's abnormal. Free B line in one rib space. So I'm just gonna note here. The third thing is C line. So C line is what happened when you focus. So let's say you have consolidation here. What happened is actually you have pro line here, and then you have sub of consolidation because you know you have bacteria that eat your pro space, your pro So you have bacteria that destroy your pro So you don't have a nice clean thin pura anymore. You have this thick pura or a regular pura and it has this subpural consolidation and this. So this is C-line. Here. So C-line means you have subpural consolidation which is black and then you have a very cold white line. So two things. So this is C-line. And if you have see this clear white vertical line which has no subpural consolidation, this is B-line. So you can see C line because it is C, so consolidation. Obviously the things that eat prula, which is bacterial pneumonia or maybe COVID. So this is A, B, C. When you ultrasound, you, know, you can diagnose if you have air more than fluid, fluid more than air or consolidation. If you have prula effusion, obviously you will see hypoequity, which we didn't include it here.